Have we been misled into directly providing the NSA with every aspect of our personal lives? Was the groundwork laid in 2004 to provide specific vehicles for the use of the general public, many of which can be had for free or at a nominal cost to the subscriber? Do we really believe the mainstream media claims that the NSA is monitoring each and every computer in the world and collecting data from over 5 billion individual sources? Or is this just another point of misdirection so we don't look at the possibility that we are actually uploading our information unknowingly and voluntarily directly to an NSA facility? What do we know? Number one. The NSA Data Center was conceptualized in 2004 under the code name Bumblehive. Number two, the NSA Data Center construction broke ground on January 7th of 2011 in Bluffdale, Utah. This 1.5 million square foot, unprecedented, ridiculously expensive $2 billion government project is right on schedule for its official opening in September of 2013. Number three, it is said that this data center is capable of storing a yottabyte of data. A yottabyte is a septillion of bytes, a number so large that no one has yet coined a term for the next higher magnitude. Prior to the yottabyte, the largest unit of measure for data was an exabyte. One million exabytes equals one yottabyte. Eric Schmidt the former CEO of Google estimated that the total of all human knowledge created from the dawn of man up to the present, if digitized, would only total five exabytes. Yet the NSA is currently planning a second data center in Fort Meade, Maryland to handle the overflow from the Utah data center. And it is projected to be two thirds the size of the data center in Utah at a cost to the taxpayers of approximately $1 billion. We are paying for our own enslavement and cyber imprisonment. What else do we know? Facebook, a free service for the people to upload every aspect of their waking life, was founded in 2004 by Mark Zuckerberg, the same year the NSA data center project Bumblehive was conceived. In 2009, cloud-based computing reached the turning point whereby the trend turned from on-site, off-site, data backup and storage to cloud-based technology. Coincidentally, in 2009, Windows launched Azure, a Windows-based cloud platform. For the past three years, the phenomenal push for online storage, backups, and distributed applications has been on the rise. You can't listen to the radio without hearing a commercial every 15 minutes for these services. Now, here's some interesting info I found researching the top 10 cloud service providers. Barracuda, founded 2003-2004. Carbonite, founded 2005. Mosey, founded 2005. MyPC, founded 2010. Backup Genie, founded 2011. Just Cloud, founded 2010. SOS, founded 2011. Dropbox, founded 2007. SugarSync, founded 2009. And Elephant Drive, founded 2008. Are you seeing a correlation here? The NSA Project Bumblehive was conceived in 2004. All of these online cloud services were founded between 2004 and 2011. Coincidence? Or was this a pre-planned groundwork laid out to be put in place systems to have you voluntarily and unknowingly upload all of your personal private information to the NSA? If you understand how DNS servers work, you understand that if you use one of these providers, you understand that the data you're backing up will be directed to a DNS such as mosey.com. However, do you know how domain name service pointers or redirects work? For simplicity's sake, think of a DNS redirect pointer as a splitter. 
all of these cloud service providers that were founded between 2004 and 2011 would have a DNS pointer that points all data upload to say mosey.com simultaneously to the NSA data center. Would you be aware of this redirect? Absolutely not. It is public knowledge that Peter Thiel, founder of PayPal, was the first primary outside funder of Facebook. Thiel is also a member of the Bilderberg Steering Committee. My question is, where did all these cloud service providers get their funding, which enabled them to grow from virtually grassroots companies to multi-hundred million and billion dollar enterprises in the span of just a few years? For example, I did, I did the research on Carbonite. I found that they received $66 million in funding since 2006. It is also, also interesting to note that Zacks reported on August 16, 2013, and I quote, in terms of customer mix, the Department of Defense accounted for 72.1% of all total revenue in the reported quarter, which was their fourth quarter, fiscal 2013, which closed out on June 30th of 2013. Just do a Google search on any of these cloud service providers. Type in any one of these top 10 cloud services for their net revenues. For example, Dropbox reported a valuation of $4 billion on February 7th, 2013. Just saying. It's 2 a.m. Do you know where your data is? I've provided all the research links below. Please use them, research this information, and think for yourself. Thank you for watching and please share this video.